Hey everyone, this is part 4 of my Wizard of Oz tutorial series. Today I'm going to show you how to make the Scarecrow Donut. And for this tutorial you're going to need some tan clay. Um, I have gold clay for you know the frosting part. Um, some kind of dark brown clay and uh, whatever color patch that you want on his little hat I chose um, dark green. I use Sculpey clay, you can use any kind of oven bake clay. Just make sure it says oven bake and the baking instructions should be on the package. So let's get started. You're going to want to take your um, tan clay and make a triangular donut shape. To do this you just um, roll it into a ball like I did and start flattening it to form a thick disc and then press the sides in the bottom. Like the last three, or the last two tutorials, I'm sorry, you're going to want this to be like a tall donut shape rather than a short one. Just picture like um, the witch's hat, the scarecrow's hat, the tin man's hat. They're kind of like tall triangular shapes, so. Okay, so once you have that shape, you're going to want to take um, some kind of tool I forgot to mention earlier. Um, you can use like a toothpick or something if you don't have store-bought tools, or if you do have store-bought tools, this one works really well for donuts. So you just want to insert that into the middle and move it around like this. It makes that donut hole and turn it over and repeat with the other side. Next you're going to take your gold clay and just pinch off some and make the same triangular shape. But you want it to be flatter than the donut of course and bigger as well because it has to go you know over the sides a little bit like frosting. Okay. So there's my, I know you can't really tell that that's gold, but yeah, this is called jewelry gold I think in Sculpey. So put that on your clay, your um, donut, and press down on the sides. Then take your tool that you used the first time and just poke the hole through the center again and repeat with the other side. Okay. Next we're going to make um, the little straw pieces coming out of his hat. So just, it's really simple, we'll just take um, little pieces of clay and you can do this however you want it doesn't have to look exactly like this but I have two pieces of straw on one side and one on the other but you know you can be creative however you want to do this I just take a little piece of clay and roll it like this and just attach that you know, to the top like this. Let it hang down. I like to kind of separate them just a little bit so they're, they look like two separate pieces of straw. And I'm going to do one for the other side. Next I'm going to do the, um, the bottom part, and I had no idea how to do this when I first started. I just kind of, I don't know, came up with the idea of, I don't know, if you're familiar with the movie, you can tell how his, where his neck is. It looks like it's tied, and then, you know, where it's been tied, it sort of frays out at the bottom, so 
It took a while to figure out how to do that, but I came up with the idea of um, just making like a thick snake and pressing it down like this. So it gets thin. You can use a roller to make this easier if you want. And then I just sort of pleated um, the clay into like a sort of an, an accordion shape, I guess. Yeah. Sort of like that. And just apply that. Make sure that it stretches across the whole bottom of the donut. It doesn't have to be perfect. But um, attach it really well. And that's what I have so far. Sort of looks, looks like a little skirt almost. And now you want to make the, um, like with the rope that attaches the skirt shape, I guess, to the donut. And to do this, I think the first time I just made like a snake and made lines in it. I don't know, it's been a long time since I've made my originals and I've only made two sets of them. And I made both of those sets at the same time, so... Make this into like a skinny snake shape. And I guess you could um, twist this if you wanted to, or take two and twist together, but I'm just going to make the, um, the lines like I did in the first one, so take any kind of tool, toothpick, anything. Make some indents so it looks like a rope. And attach this. And you want to try not to cover up the whole of your donut as you're doing this. I did just a slight bit, but press it down a little bit and that's okay. Okay, next we want to do the hat. So, let's see. Oh, there it is. Get your dark brown. This isn't the same color that I used in the first one, but I have some of the scrap brown that I want to use up, so just take a little bit of that and make a small little triangle shape for the hat, but it has to be flat also. sure that this is going to go over the top of the donut and cover up, you know, you want to cover up all of this up here. So make sure that your hat's big enough for that. I'll pinch off some of this at the top, I don't need that much. So just smooth all that down, press it down around the sides and around the top. And as you can see, I also made a little, a little um, sort of rope shapes for his hat to make it kind of look a little rustic, I guess. You don't want it to be all clean cut, you know, it's the scarecrow, so. I just took two of these little snakes. And sort of uh, twined them together. So I have the two little snakes here, and I just sort of kind of put them together a little messy and attach those like that. And for the finishing touch, you can choose any color, you know, for the little patch that you want. 
The patch can be any shape that you want, it doesn't really matter. I chose green just because I thought it kind of looked, you know, sort of like fall colors, I don't know. When I think of scarecrows, I just think kind of fall weather and stuff like that, so. I thought, you know. I can't remember right now exactly what color. It may have been green in the movie, I can't really remember. I thought I had that movie memorized, and now I can't even think of what color the little patch was on this hat. Okay, so I'm just going to sort of make this into a little square. Well, this is more of a rectangle, I guess. Okay, and just take like a tool, you know, anything like this, and to make it look like a patch, just sort of... I think I'll just make lines. Just sort of make lines on the side like this. With your tool. And it sort of looks like it's you know sewn onto the hat. It doesn't really matter where you put it. I'll put it on top like this. Okay. So that's what the scarecrow donut looks like. There's a little hat and I don't know exactly what to call this thing. A little skirt thing that's under his neck, I guess. So if you're wanting to make this into a charm, you're gonna need I like to use eye pins, so I'll just suggest that you use an eye pin. So I have one here. And I just like to um, stick it in there off to the side so that you can't see the pin through the little hole of the donut. And there you go. Just bake and glaze if you want to. And you have a finished scarecrow. The final tutorial that I'm going to do is going to be um, the lion. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching.